Hello, once again, welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time. And also, don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. So, today I'm going to walk you through another amazing function in Excel, and it's called a workday function. And I have some public holidays and my worksheet, and I'm going to show you how to use this. And then you can get your start date, and then you can also predict what the completion date. And then we have the working days as well. So let's assume we know the starting date for a project, which is 3rd August 2022, and we want to work for 25 days. We will be able to tell when the exact date when we're going to end this. So if I change this to 30 and I hit enter, it's going to update it. If I change this to 60 days, you can see then that means when we start 3rd August, we're going to end this somewhere around 28 October 2022. We've already worked this out with the holidays are excluded from this calculation. So I'm going to show you how to do this. But before that, but before that, remember to like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So let's jump right into action and see how to go about this. So I'm actually going to clear everything. I really don't have anything over here. I'm going to clear this. So over here, I just have my starting date, and then I want to show the number of days I'll work and then when i'm going to complete that tax and i have my holidays so it can be the holidays that you have in your country you can use that to do your calculations so this is currently for ghana and i'm using this to do my calculation so minus my holidays i can predict the completion date so let's see how we can use the workday function so let's say we want to work for our production days it's going to be 90 days so we know our starting days. We are starting this on 3rd of August. Our production date is 90. So let's now know, minus our holidays, let's now know when we complete this exercise. So in order to do that, we're going to use the workday function. So just enter equal to. So you select workday and we're going to, our starting date is going to be what? This, so you select that column, that's H4, okay? Comma, and then we also need our production date. So our production date is going to be 90. And we select that. The next thing is also to get our holidays. Our holidays are not going to be part of our production days. So many on holidays will not work. So we're going to take that out. So this is the date for the holidays. So just select that. Drag that all the way down. So that's our holidays. We want to select the holidays and select and subtract it from our working days. So just close this and then hit enter. You can see it's going to give you what December 12, 2022. If I change this to, let's say 45, then we are going to end this somewhere around what 7th October. Most of the time when you enter this, when you hit enter, you'll be getting it to be at general. So you'll be getting what some serial numbers. Anytime you get these serial numbers, just go back to your number tab, change it from general to what date it could be long date i'm using long date that's why the space is not enough if i decide to stretch this it's going to give me friday exact day that this exercise will be completed so if i use a long date it's going to give me friday october 7. if you want to change the date format you can just click on this dialog box and you can change your date format there are several date formats over here you can use if you want to just change it to march you can change it this way you want to display it in a shorter date format you can do that so there are several date options you can use if you want to know the day as well like as what i did earlier on you can do that so what is going to happen if i change my starting date to something else let me say change this to october and update this is going to change this to what a tuesday december 6 2022 and if you update your production date it will automatically update your completion date as well so you can easily use this formula to forecast when you complete a date. Once you know when you are starting and you know the amount of days you want to work, you can easily tell when you're going to finish a particular project. So like and share because I'm going to be sharing a lot of tips and tricks right here on this channel and you don't have to miss that. So let me change my production date once again to let, let's say somewhere around 30. So if I change, you can see automatically it's going to update that. So if you get some serial number here after entry that just go back and then change this from general to date okay so it could be long or short date 
once you have your data you can update this to anything at all you want so like and subscribe to this channel because on this channel we're always going to share tips and tricks and things that will make your daily life so easy like come away again remember to always visit like and also subscribe